probably the test species. Are we making a formula for cats? But I thought you said to test on. I know what I said, Lexapro. I only said that because we don't have any humans to test on. These wild animals are all we have. Go back to the lab and do the autopsy. Try and see if it is the formula that's killing it before we do anything to it. It could be any number of things. It could be that the animal was diseased. I'll go and start checking them. You know, we are still people working here. Someone could be sick on top, but it's all going to be more important things. Are you suggesting that I am not capable of the work that I have assigned myself? No, I'm saying you are doing As it may, I am perfectly capable of doing every job in this experiment myself, if I must. I think we both know that is true. That's why you brought me here in the first place. But we've made exactly zero progress in the past year. I can't stand this halt in progress. But that isn't true either. It is better than where we were. That much is true. Go and do the autopsy. I'll be in holding. Get your hands off me! What in the world? I wasn't even trying to find you. I was just walking through the woods. I had no idea this was here. Yeah, yeah, you told me, but follow the orders. I found this one snooping around the perimeter, so I dragged her in here. You're all right. I was not snooping around. How can you snoop around something you didn't even know existed? Yeah. Yes, you've done what I asked. Huh. Did you see anyone else? Nope, it was pretty dark. I barely even saw this one. What, so there could be more trespassers, and you're just too blind to care? I'm not blind. Hey, Einstein's, unless you want to deal with my lawyer, you're going to tell me what's going on here right now. What makes you think you're in any position to threaten us like that? We're holding you here. So you admit this is a hostage situation. Good to know for later. Dr. Anomaly, I believe you could benefit from an antagonistic approach. I believe you could benefit from changing your tone around the project leader. All right, here's what's happened. Our security guards found you wandering around our facility. We don't like it very much when we find people wandering around. So now that we have you, I've decided to simply use you as our first human test subject in our top secret scientific experiment. Anything else is highly classified, and just between the scientists here, how much simpler could it be? You're gonna turn me into your <laughs> jitty pig! Let me go! <laughs> please, please, come down. This isn't helping anyone. I'm not coming down until you let me go! Good lord, did you sedate the child already? Much better. Ugh, now, if you don't mind, my assistant here will begin filling out your record. Well, I go back to important things. You may let her go now. It is her, yes? Yes, it's she, her. That was quite a chonchip just then. I don't enjoy the idea of being sedated. For all I know, I could be dead by the time it wears off. Believe me, we keep you away from that. It's necessary for results. Hair color, eye color, I'll need your name and date. My name is Alex Wright, 18 years old as of this spring. Did your family have any history of severe medical conditions? No. Have you ever had a severe medical condition yourself? No. Have you ever had surgery in your lifetime? One time, when I was little to remove my appendix.
tell you too much about this project, but I suspect the results will be less than desirable if we did experimenting on you. However, if I could convince Dr. Anomaly, you'll be an asset to the experiment itself. He may not want to lose you. You become a much more valuable resource. So instead of dying a gruesome death, I'd be trapped here working for you forever? The purpose of the project is quite a beneficial goal, and results are somewhat promising. He had always said, after all, they would change the oh, world. Don't patronize me. You're just trying to prolong the inevitable. Would you rather go back to being his guinea pig, as you put it? What do you need me to do? Effectively, he was 
wishes to introduce immortality to the human race. Are you kidding me? I know it's an idealistic goal, but we've had promising results thus far. And besides, he's now been working on this for so long that he's obsessed. Right, so he's trying to play God and take death out of the circle of life, which would break it, by the way. How exactly does he plan to do that? Well, that is certainly confidential. Please, don't look at me like that. I tell you if I could. Before you came in, I had serious work to attend to. You can record the information I gather while I work. Oh, joy. Paperwork. This project has some... Well, I haven't exactly broken through on some sort of miracle fix, but I think I caught something. Oh? I'm not exactly sure what you're thinking of bringing new DNA in your compound, and ours not to reason why, of course, but the subjects we're using are dying. I think Dr. Anopoli was right. They're dying because the formula's not being put into the right environment. Of course it's going to be catastrophic. Didn't I tell you that was the problem? And now you've got him. What? I will be finished. You dare to interrupt me? Yes, I do. Because you're wrong. Going to a human subject would have the same result. We ran this too. I looked at your records. You started testing on other needs, trying to perfect the serum. But then you strayed to rodents in, attempt, in an attempt to get closer to humans. You started off great, but I think you jumped the gun. To me, the next step should be to go towards reptiles or fish. Did I tell you she'd be useful? You haven't told her anything, have you? Only what you and I have discussed. Believe me, I wish it was that second time. Security, come in. What do you need, boss? Clear the traps and get back to the lab. We're taking a new direction. Uh, okay. Should I bring the animals we have back up? Did I tell you to bring them up? Clear the traps and get back here. Well, I'm confused. What kind of new direction? I shouldn't have to explain myself to you. Just get over here. Copy that. <laughs> I'm thinking we start with some of the different amphibians in the area before we move on to our next class of animal. You tested on newts, but what about frogs? If we start on those, we can get closer to a certain species of lizard, and I know we can find them. You seem to be taking your new position very seriously. Given that it's either this or get tested on, likely resulting in death, backing down isn't really an option for you. I suppose that's true, but even still, I don't really see you people that work so well on a pressure like this. I'm trying to push that fear down. Right now, I'm a little more focused on trying to keep our next test subject from being turned into some <laughs> half amphibian. All right, what did I say? No, just think nothing of it. I know secrets are pretty tight around here, but you can at least indulge me in this. What did I say? It just, uh, can you get the papers from over here back up to the records room? All right. God, where is that useless oak? Our grounds aren't big enough for him to be taking this long. Maybe he's still clear the trap for a few years ago. Uh, typical. Going around doing things I never asked him to. It won't have been smashed on the head of time, so you have no use for them, not yet at least. Be that as it may, I have told him time and time again not to do something unless I have asked him to, and yet he continues to disappoint me. This is precisely why I prefer to do things myself. Why, it wasn't working well without you the last time. Excuse me? The first trial? Don't even think about mentioning that! Once again, I find you're right. I'll take care of that. Notify me if that disappointment of a security guard returns. I'm trying to take your raccoon 
God. We used to go to school together. I used to help him with his classes. Oh, wait, Alex, you've been here this whole time? God, Cameron, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at trade school by now? I, I was looking for you. You've been missing for weeks. I thought I'd ought to take a look here. You always love these woods, you know. We haven't talked in ages. And why were you looking for me in the first place? Oh, well, but it's hardly important now, is it? I can hardly wait to run deaths on the boy who saw the first human trial. Now is not the time for idle chatter. No, you can't do that. Skinner, I'm getting sick of you telling me you're superior. What you can and cannot do. But she's right. You can't test the project on a human yet. It's not ready. I just went over that about two minutes ago. But this is how we get it ready. Until we see how it affects a human host, we can't possibly be sure what needs to change. We'll have to study his reactions. Only then can we begin adjustments. Only then can we be sure. But we need him. If you think, even for a second, that I will stand to be denied my first human trial for a third time, Come with me. We need to discuss the changes being made to your duties. Leave the boy with lock the door and take the keys with you. You. Watch him. You. She. That guy. Just come. 
outfit gets so bleak as all that. You can do whatever you want it forever. You can see your great great grandkids grow up. I would outlive every single generation of my family. That is, if I could have one. Right. I, Sorry. I, I mean, just look at you. I could have gone to school, lived a life, had a kind of career, and then at the end, I could die in a car accident or or a fire or something. This is a bullet in my chest that I take it out hours later. You can't even see the spot where they hit me. Every second of it is agony. My body twists and contorts itself so that I have to relearn how to move. I cannot die, but I haven't lived a single second. I think I know how to get you out of here, Tamara. Wait, what? I'm calling the cops. I wasn't sure if I wanted to risk it in case this was actually approved somehow. But if this is what they're doing to people, it needs to go down. You really think that hasn't been tried already? No, but maybe not by the right people. My father's a lawyer. If they don't listen right away, I can talk them into listening. I see. Just don't be too surprised when it doesn't work the way you'd like it to. They made me get rid of my phone so they couldn't find us out here. Do you have yours? Yeah, I've got it. Do you want me to make the call or do you want to? No, I'll do it. Once they take you away, Lexapro will want to write up a test on you. Anomaly will want to take the test on you. And the guard should be on patrol. That should be enough time. See, I'll have to be taking my leave. Anomaly and Lexapro will see me after that. They'll know what that means. I think it's best to sweep this under the rug. Do you mean the way they swept you under the rug? Cameron! What? Could you be any more tactless? What? Oh, please, there's no use in this show recording it for my sake. I say we ought to regroup later and discuss the steps we really ought to take. What steps? I'm so confused. There have been two missing person cases in the same city within the span of a month, in the same place that my case and the guard's case went cold, meaning there will undoubtedly be more people coming to look for you, the way Cameron did, meaning more people <coughs> who kid kidnapped, tested on, and more people's lives will be lost or ruined. Well, we don't need to worry about that. I'm calling the cops. They'll take care of it. Yeah, what she said. I tried that before. The only way to really stop it Take it down. The entire thing. The building, the research, and the people. We'll see just how much anomaly and Lexi will like it. Whoa! What do you mean? I've been here for ten years. That's a lot of time. So, I've decided to make the charges. What? Can we really do that? I mean, <coughs> do we have a choice? You have no other choice. You saw what they did to me. What they'll do to Cameron, they must be stopped. They will. They will when the cops show up. Very well. I'll be leaving. Now, then, go take down all the trash from before and reset the amphibian traps. If we must continue modifications, we might as well get a head start on it. Sure thing, Bob. <coughs> Lexapro, begin writing his record. I will prepare the test. Alex, go down in the holding and release all the animals back into the wild. Oh, that's, that's kind of nice of you. We don't need them anymore. They're taking up space and they're high maintenance. I don't care what happens to them. Just get rid of them.
name of the God who invented and patented insulin, even though it's a proud plot. Hell, I don't think I ever knew. It was Sir Frederick Banting, and he discovered it. Uh, discovered. But everybody knows, like, famous actors and stuff. Kind of sad. Intelligence is, like, so overrated and underappreciated at the same time. Because everybody wants to be smart and wants their kids to grow up with the best grades, but when they grow up, they've got some dead-end job they go home and stress out about. And don't get me wrong, these people are all like doctors and lawyers and advertising CEOs and stuff like that. But they're not happy. They work like crazy and they never see their family. And if they do manage something big, like that insulin guy. Sir Frederick Banting. Yeah, him. They're never recognized for it. They might be for a little while by people right off the bat, but then they're quickly forgotten. Except by like nerds like Alex, who happened to look it up one day. It's kind of sad. You do so much for the people who expect you to do everything, and then when you go out and do it, you get nothing. It's not fair to you guys. How'd you come up with all that? I mean, I guess it's just one of those things you think about a lot. For you guys, it'd probably be this project we're doing, and for dumb guys like me, it's dumb stuff like this. That's far from a dumb topic. Really, I think so. I mean, Mom always said it was dumb to think about stuff like that. Thanks for stalling, Cameron. What in the world is going on? I'm not quite sure. Maybe you can tell us. Now, as you can see, we have me, Missing Person 1, and Cameron Victorian, who you said over the phone was Missing Person 2. You saw one of your own cold cases outside, and I'm about to show you another. That's shady enough as it is, isn't it? Alex! Not bad. Right? Really nice how this all works together, huh? Yes, it's very rare that cases like these all get tied up so neatly. So you agree this place should be investigated? I mean, four missing people in one place is kind of suspicious, right? And a whole lab space in the middle of nowhere that doesn't pop up on any kind of search, generating its own power, getting no mail, and being monitored by cameras. It's a pretty <laughs> situation, isn't it? Hey, Lex, how have you been? We haven't seen each other in a while. Oh, well, not too terrible. Business as usual. Nothing too new, exactly too new hires. How about you? Could be better. Two missing person cases that happen to be teenagers running off together. Well, yet another prank call to this place. Not that I mind your company, of course. Oh, no, no, I totally understand. I mean, really, how many times do you have to tell people that we don't have time for all that? We're very busy missionaries, after all. I can only imagine. <clears throat> What are you standing around talking for? Come on, you can't seriously expect me to think this place still isn't safe. We've been here loads of times. But she hasn't even shown you. Come on, you gave us enough hassle as it is. You ran away from home and worried your folks like that. Just because you're 18 doesn't mean you can take off and never be heard from again. Well, not exactly. If a person decides to cut contact and get with us. Look, I could have you both arrested right here and now for wasting an officer's time. But, since you're probably just rebelling, I won't. I'll leave you here and let your folks know when you're safe. But if this happens again from either of you, I'll personally see to it that you both are arrested. Is that clear? So you're not- Is that clear, Miss Wright? Have a great day, Lex. Keep these dang kids in line, will you? Uh, don't worry. I'll personally see to it. Just what was the meaning of all that? Oh, well, excuse her for trying to save a few lives around here. You could have jeopardized the project dedicated to saving everyone's lives. You're playing God. If we were meant to live forever, we would. Death is a part of life. Have you even considered what would happen if you break the cycle? What kind of damage will be done here? Are you telling me that after the weeks you spent here, you don't share my vision? Do you not see the glory of a world without tragedy? Without death, there is no war, no disease, no murder, no more parents that outlive their children, no more children that have to watch their mothers die and not know they just said goodbye for the last time. What I do here saves everybody on this planet from the worst fate that could ever befall a man. Tell that to your first human trial. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You have no memory. I wrote the call you kept me here as a reminder. You locked me away to keep the world from the horrors behind the curtains of this place. 
I have no such thing. I don't know what you are. Tell me about me. How do you sleep at night with those gun shots ringing in your ears? How do you walk around my weight on your shoulders? Both of you! River, please, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You think I let you off the hook? You, you could have done something. I still don't see how either of you still think what you're doing is good. Look at where it's got me. That is irrelevant. Your sacrifice, as well as these two, and anyone else who wanders in here, will be far outweighed by the work we do here. The work you've done here has left me in agonizing mutilation. That is far beside the point. Anything you have to say is irrelevant in the face of the project. I will not hear another second of this. When the voice testing is done, you will become the next subject. No, 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 no. Let's, let's talk about this. You can talk about it. For the record, I remember how you tried to stop. I remember how you tried to talk about a testing on these two, like me. But it doesn't work. Talking is what got me here. And what needs to happen is action. All right, but before we jump to any final, permanent, irreversible decisions like death, and destruction, I think we should go over our other options. Like what? You called the police, it didn't work. Lexapro tried to talk him out of it the whole way, it didn't work. Action is how anything gets done. I need to think. I need time to think. You don't have time to think. Oh my god. While you all were arguing, I had the time to make the charges. So, I set them. Are you saying this building is about to explode? The building and everything inside of it. I recommend leaving while you have a chance. Just make sure he doesn't get out. You want me to just let him die? Are you out of your mind? God, everyone here is <laughs> demented! If you want to survive, I recommend leaving as soon as possible. You won't want to be in here when the building explodes. Okay, everybody has to leave through separate doors. When you get out, lock the door behind you and then get as far away from the scene as possible. Wait, Sarah, wait, what? Tara, we have to get out of here! Oh, I, I have There's no time, just go!